evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land, Rock Not here. I'm um, going to do a different type of video today. Something just really bugging me today. Um, as you guys know, you know, of course, I collect retro video games. Um, but I also, like most of you, resell or trade uh, doubles that I get or extra consoles. So recently, this past Saturday, um, December 6th, I sold a Super Nintendo with three games, two controllers. <clears throat> I tested everything thoroughly here and, you know, cleaned it out to the best of my ability and made sure it was in great working condition before it left. Um, made the deal um, Saturday afternoon, about 3 o'clock. Uh, proceeded to, and now I delivered the goods um, to Peterborough. Now, I'm not from Peterborough. It's about a 40-minute drive uh, from where I am. Uh, spent a good portion of the day in Peterborough till about 7.30. Get home at 9, get home at 8 o'clock, and at 9.30 at night I get a text message from the lady saying that the console doesn't work. To which I'm like, okay, the console works. I tested it, I know it works. So I said, you know, did you try blowing in it and blah 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 and tried to troubleshoot with her and finally she's like, no, I just want my money back. So I proceeded to tell her, well, you know, it's a special trip for me to go down to pick it up. And, you know, um, I'm gonna have, you know, so if you want your money back, because I don't go to Peterborough very often, you're gonna have to arrange to come up to see me. Uh, that way I can test the console and I can make sure that it's the actual console that I that I sold you um, So that you know neither one of us is being led astray Well, she she proceeds to tell me she doesn't drive and blah 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 So finally she makes a big rant on Facebook about me uh, Granted I used a pseudo name to sell it thankfully um but then she, you know, proceeds to bash me and all this other stuff and, you know, whatever. I'm done with it. Um, so I just tell her, you know what, forget it. I'm not going to try and troubleshoot because I was going to have a buddy come up um, by the name of Chase. Thanks, Chase. Anyways, man, I owe you one anyways. You know, you've saved my butt enough anyway. <laughs> you've saved my butt enough. Th shout out to Chase. He's a collector in, in Peterborough. Excellent guy. You got stuff to sell in Peterborough, and and you know you can't wait for me to get there. Salt to chase. He's a good guy. He'll give you good. He'll give you top buck for it. And he's not one of these guys that's gonna you know pay you five bucks for a fifty dollar game and then turn around and sell it for seventy five bucks. You know. He's a guy who's probably gonna give you forty, maybe forty five dollars for a fifty dollar game. He he's not you know he's not gonna rip you off. So anyways. So I made arrangements for, you know, maybe Chase to meet up with them, um, not Sunday, but maybe Monday, and he could take a look at the system for me because he's actually in Peterborough and I'm not. But, you know, the lady just made such a fuss about it, and I, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to wait. So I made my wife pack up the kids and everything, and we drove down today to pick up the console. Um, now I'm going to patch in the, the photo or the fit footage here because I actually filmed me going to pick up the 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 console all right so we're going to do a return for a for a console I'll be right back you guys coming for the ride Hurt. How's it going? Not bad. Any luck with it or no? No. I tried it again last night. Um, it, I can't get it going. It's, All right. I've tried channel 3, I've tried channel 4, yeah. I've tried my other TV. All right. It's not the TV. I think it's. Okay. It, the, I'm seeing a bit of corrosion in there, not much. Yeah. But, yeah. like. 
I just said, it would work when I was at my place. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that that's normal wear. Mm. All that stuff. So Yeah. All right. And all the controllers are Yeah, controller switch. are right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All the games are there. Yeah. And all the markings on the back. Yep. Yeah. Cal Smith, Cal Smith. Perfect. Yeah, uh, when you knew it wasn't working, I don't know why you didn't message me or nothing, because I was still in town until like 7.30 last night. I didn't get it. Uh, yeah. I, well, I, would, I would have come over, you know, after the break or whatever. But yeah, we did the drop off here, and I went down and did some shopping, did some more video game hunting, and, and yeah, so. Sure. Well, I'll see if we can get it working. Yeah, well, I'm sure it will. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the whole console thing back here. Huh? Well, we wanted to show them everything else still there. So yeah, there's the Mario World. Oh, we're upside down. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the Mario World. My All Stars. Street Fighter, the console and everything. And we'll get a better look at the codes here, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. So yeah, we'll get her home and uh, get her working. See you when we get home, ladies and gents. Hey ladies and gents, I'm back home. There's the Super Nintendo that I just got back from the person. As you can see, UN20310756 and the Super Mario Bros with the tear in the corner. Turn it on. Bidding. Super Mario World. So I'm thinking these people just had some buyer's remorse. But, you know what? Let's. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's try the other games in the in the package here. All right. So we'll pull out Street Fighter 2. It's got the Kyle Smith on the back. Licensed by Nintendo. Capcom. Looks like it's working to me. But again, let, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was the Super Mario Super Mario All-Stars that wasn't working. Again, K. Smith on the back. Oh, okay. Well, let's try the tried and true method. There we go. I got three for three. So I don't know what what the problem was, but it all works here. Anyways, there we go. I guess we just had a case of buyer's remorse. All right, now I've actually shown you guys the the footage of the the video it's of the video of me picking it up and the video of me testing it once I get home. As you can see, the console is in perfect working condition. So what I think happened here is maybe a little bit of buyer's remorse. You know, they bought the console off me for X number of dollars. And I guess either the husband or something got home and decided that, you know, that was too much money to spend on the console or whatever. But, you know, whatever. Just say that to me in the first place. Don't don't give me this bullshit that my, my stuff doesn't work. Alright? You know, it... Because it just pisses me off. It makes me feel, you know, like this whole 
thing is just a pain in the ass, you know, to try and, you know, as a collector, I enjoy playing video games. You know, it's my favorite thing to do. I wouldn't have all these games behind me if I didn't love playing them. I don't have enough time to play them, but I, I love playing them. I love sitting down and spending, you know, even 30 minutes, if I have that much time, to play them. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, enough of my rant, you know. It's just sad, you know, because I try to sell some of my my doubles and, and extra consoles like that that I get working, um, you know, that were from somebody's basement, and now, you know, I get them working and they're, and they're in good shape. And so I move them on to somebody else for less than what these retail jackasses, you know, sell these things to people for. Like, the retail guys here in town, $80 for a Super Nintendo with one controller, no games. You get $80 for the Super Nintendo, and I think it's $30 for Mario All-Stars, $20 for Super Mario and 15 bucks for uh, Street Fighter 2 and then I think it's 15 bucks for an extra controller and that's essentially what I sold the lady uh, retail value $160 and she didn't even pay half of that so and then had buyer's remorse so I don't know I just don't know what to tell you ladies and gentlemen anyways you know enough of my rant as you guys can see, I've uh, updated some of my, uh, I've actually updated my collection again. Uh, I did, um, I bought some new shelving at, a, at Ikea a week ago and just finally set it up today and then moved everything around. So I'm actually, um, my camera's actually on my stairs right now, so <laughs> don't need a tripod. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um... Give a thumbs up. Um, reason for thumbs up in this video today? Dealing with a bad situation. How's that? Um, give me a comment in the section below if you guys have ever had a had a um, bad experience like this, um, trying to resell something. And you know, as always, subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with everything that's going on. I'm gonna. I promise Retro Collectors, I'm going to do those NES and uh, Dreamcast collection videos. It's just, I had to get this off my chest. And you know, you guys are now my medium for doing that. Uh, I thank you very much for, for taking the time out of your busy day, listening to my rant. I owe you one. Alright, Rocknot signing off. Have a good day.